this has been going on for a quiet couple of months now and i've been quiet and my quietness doesn't mean i don't have what to say the reason why i'm quiet is because i want to see how this is going to evolve i want to see to what extent they are going to drag this and guys to be honest with you as i'm talking to you now they have hit the nerves of nigerians and if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about this miss uh, universe or mrs universe mrs shedema additional so guys for some of you that are not familiar with this story let me give you a little backdrop on how this story has been evolving and why i think south africans hate this particular girl you are seeing here shedema additional so back let's let's take this story back in 2010 a man met a woman they got married one thing led to another thing they had a kid now unbeknownst to the kid unbeknownst to the kid that her mother has gone behind the backs of home affairs and fraudulently got a home affairs id or got a south african id that she's using now the mother committed a fraud yes she's impersonating somebody she impersonated somebody she got her id 23 years later a kid that was born out of that wedlock out of that fraudulent uh, passport out of that fraudulent id now wanted to let her dream of becoming the miss south africa shine she wants to let her dream come true and then what happened south african started no 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 she's not a south african she's a nigerian her mother is mozambique there's nothing south africa about her okay the pageant they went they did their investigation they are like okay no this girl is born here in south africa she's been living here in south africa everything she knows is south africa and that makes her south africans but no south african people some of the unintelligent people were like no she's not south african we're not going to allow it and at the end of the day they started threatening this girl so what happened the girl was like okay the threat has been too much let me withdraw from this race she withdrew from participating in the miss universe south africa so what happened since the south african unintelligent people has been saying this girl is a nigerian let her go back to nigeria and participate in miss universe nigeria what did the congregation of nigerians do they are like okay she's one of us let's welcome her so nigerians welcomed this girl with open hand showed out what she was missing in south africa love from the motherland like the girl the amount of love nigerians showed this girl it kind of tripled what we expected because we already know if she has participated in miss south africa she would have won the crown but no the hatefulness of south africans the lesser the minority of south africans that are not intelligent enough we are like no she's not qualified so when she now came to nigeria she went for miss nigeria because nigeria invited her to participate in the miss, miss universe nigeria so luckily for her to show that this is someone who has a dream this is someone who has a vision she won with landslide which she won with landslide even with the war that south africans we are pushing because immediately south africans notice okay she's now participating in miss nigeria they decided to show her that they had the power that they had the power to to to, to tell her what her dream is going to be now yeah, south africans started voting for another contestant of miss nigeria guys let it sink in you guys you hated this girl you, uh, you, you you targeted her you wanted her to tone down her ego you wanted her to kind of me mellow down she refused she went for the pageant she won let's fast forward it to now they are all in mexico the whole pageant from all around the world because they are about to contest for the miss universe now the girl is now contesting representing nigeria the motherland representing nigeria guys she's representing nigeria yes she doesn't have anything again against south africa but no some south africans the unintelligent one are like no 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 she can't be she can't be she can't be in the, she can't be a south african and contesting for miss uh, for miss universe as a nigerian and if you look at the story it's not making sense there's no angle you look at this story that is making sense first of all you guys hated this girl first of all you guys tar targeted this girl you guys threatened this girl she left the shores of south africa for you guys she went to nigeria where nigeria showed her love where she understood what it means to become a citizen of a country that loves you now she emerged the winner of miss nigeria she emerged the winner she is now there in mexico in mexico guys 
flying the flag of Nigeria high, representing Nigeria, representing Nigeria, which I don't even understand why South Africans are still finding it, uh, are still thinking that it is injustice for her to be there representing Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria. She's not even talking about South Africa. She's let the past be in the past. But no, some minority unintelligent South Africans didn't it fit to write to uh, the Miss Universe organizers to take Shirima out of the whole contest. Out of the whole contest. Guys, let me read a little bit of the letter that they wrote. Let me just read it out for you so you understand what I'm saying. So they call themselves the Progressive Force for South Africa. This is an independent organization. I don't even think if they are up to 10 or 20, but they have the power of social media course. After they send this letter, they started signing petition. And as I'm talking to you now, the, pe the petition has more than 1,000 signature. And when you compare it to the number of unintelligent people, it's, uh, it, 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 it's nothing. It's nothing because South Africa has over 15 million people. And you have 1,000 unintelligent people signing a signature to stop a girl from achieving her dream. It doesn't make sense. Well, let me just read some paragraph of the letter that they wrote so you can understand how mentally unstable that these people are. So here is what they said. We are truly excited about the upcoming edition of the biggest event in the pageant industry. Since a Miss Universe crown is a career-defining moment for a little for the title holder from different corners of the world, even though we are as, even though we are excited, we are greatly concerned about Miss Universe Nigeria Shedema Additional, whose mother Anabella Rungo has been found guilty of committing identity fraud prior to participating in Miss Universe Nigeria. Guys, this is where I'm going to point out Chidema did not commit any fraud. The only person that committed the fraud was Chidema's mother, who is a Mozambican. She is a Mozambic. She's from Mozambique. Yes, she's from Mozambique. The only reason why Chidema is being hated, the only reason why some unintelligent South Africans are hating on Chidema is because her father is a Nigerian. And South Africa, they have this ongoing beef that nobody knew how it started with Nigerians. Let's just say that Chidema's father is from Ghana. This won't be making this kind of uh, noise. They won't be making this kind of noise. But it's because Chidema's mother is from Mozambique and his father is Nigerian. Just that Nigerian tag in Chidema's name. That's the, that, that's the only reason that South Africans are bothered. I'm not talking about the whole South Africans. I'm talking about the unintelligent, like the elite unintelligent peoples of South Africa. Because I stay in South Africa. I've meddled with South Africans. And I know that they are intelligent people. So when I see something like this from unintelligent people, the minorities... Those people that didn't go to a good government, that didn't go to a good school. Because most of them, they went to a government school. They didn't even attend classes. Some of them dropped out when they were in uh, grade 7 because they got pregnant. So when they see that, okay, there is somebody who has achieved the dream that they set out for themselves that they couldn't achieve. Maybe some of these people wanted to become a pageant, uh, go into pageantry. But because they got pregnant, they couldn't do it. Now they are hitting on another lady. They are hating on another lady, guys. Tell me what, like, I don't understand it. You are saying that this girl committed an offense. What is her offense? Being born. Because that's the only offense Shedema committed. Being born. The person that committed the offense was Shedema's mother, a Mozambican. She committed the fraud. She married a Nigerian. But now, Nigerians are the one paying for the crime a Mozambican commit. And Mozambicans are just like this, sitting. And I don't, I don't blame them. I don't blame them because for their, in their mind, they did nothing wrong. Nigerians are the ones being accused of committing the fraud. Whereas Nigerians are not even the people that committed the fraud. The fraud was committed by a Mozambican woman staying in South Africa that married a Nigerian. So the crime now, Nigerians are now a participant of the crime just because they were married to a Mozambican. Let me continue reading the, the letter so you can understand how unintelligent and stupid some people sound. So, the second paragraph, guys, it says, A well-known activist, Quena, guys, 
this gear has been a thorn in the lives of nigerians and nigerians have been trying to deal with her through all the arenas of social media but she's still like she's she's like a phoenix whenever we think she's gone she rise up and she tweets something that is gonna that, 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 that's gonna get nigerians on their nerves let's start let's continue reading guys a well-known activist kwena molekwa risk her own life and that of her team working tirelessly to gather the fact regarding the regarding this contestant the south african public was shocked with stories of identity fraud drug dealings now here is a lie here is a lie because some unintelligent south africans have always kind of put nigerians and drug dealing in the same sentence but they forget that when you come to south africa go to the universities of south africa you see nigerians lecture you see nigerian lecturers you see nigerians holding phds you see nigerians doing good things go to the hospital you see nigerian doctors you see nigerian nurses go to the banks you see yeah, like go to the men main sector of south africa you see nigerians doing well but no the only minority they see is the minority that is bringing shame to the name of nigeria the ones that sell drugs that's the only thing and with that minority south africans some unintelligent south africans has just generalized all nigerians living in south africa once you tell somebody hey my name is this i'm from nigeria automatically guys automatically they will think that you are a drug dealer they will think that you peddle drug or you were once a drug dealer that turned his or her life around. Even the ladies here, they feel they face the same criticism. Not all Nigerians in South Africa sell drugs. No. We have doctors, we have lecturers, we have a lot of intelligent Nigerians that are doing great things for the economy of South Africa. But no, South Africans, the unintelligent ones, are not going to see that. They are going to focus on the ones that are peddling drugs. Let's continue, guys. Drug dealings and variety of other heinous crime which i don't know other heinous crime that she the man's father or she the man's mother committed but let's continue guys as you can see unintelligent people from their writing you will know them uh, connected to dimension contestant and her family the department of home affairs in south africa was prompted to lodge an investigation after south african public outcry after south african public outcry when it was suspected that the mentioned contestant may have obtained her South African identity in a fraudulent manner, overwhelming evidence was shared on social media. Now, they say Shinema got her a South African ID through fraudulent manner, but it is a lie. It is a lie. Shinema was born in South Africa by a mother that has her ID. Now, the mother's ID later came out to be fraudulent. Do you now let the sins of the mother come to the daughter? No, it shouldn't. Because let you say that Shidema was born outside of South Africa and her mother brought her into South Africa and then uh, did the same thing she did for herself. She went to home affairs. She bribed whoever she bribed and then they gave Shidema another name. Or they gave Shidema an identity number of another South African kid, then that would be a fraud. But no, Shidema Adeshino, if her uh, identity number is 1222222, it is hers because nobody had it before her. Nobody. Nobody had it before her. It is hers and it's still going to continue to be hers, whatever you guys say. Because even if you take it away from her, it is still hers unless you give it to somebody else. But let's keep on going, guys. So, the next paragraph, guys, especially X, where it was proven beyond doubt that Annabelle Arungo stole the identity of a South African child, where the impact of identity theft had, devast had devastating consequences. The Nigerian embassy granted the mentioned contestant a diplomatic passport, which ensured a swift escape for herself and her mother granting her the opportunity to be a contestant in the miss universe nigeria no they didn't grant her any swift escape they showed her what it means to be loved from a country you are from that is the only thing nigerians did there there was a backlash from an overwhelming number of south africans condemning the nigerian government for hosting a citizen who has been found guilty of hosting people who committed crime 
in South Africa, bringing Nigeria into disrepute. I don't even know what that means, but let's continue, guys. Yesterday, on the 29th of October 2024, Home Affairs canceled the identity of Annabelle Arungo and Shedema Additional by court order. Yes, this is what I wanted to point out to. This is another hearsay or kind of a noise to mellow South Africans cause. We all, we all know, we living in South Africa, we all know the reason why Shedemma's case was brought up again. The Home Affairs guy, the, or the, the, the chairman of Home Affairs, decided to give Ukrainians, Ukra people from Ukraine, a, a free visa to come into South Africa. And South Africans are saying, no, you can't do that. Russia is our ally, so it will be a slap in the face of Russia that you are giving Ukraine uh, people from Ukraine a free visa. Whereas... Our ally who are Russian are fighting Ukraine. So to kind of make South Africans not to put more effort into investigating what is actually going on, the Home Affairs Guide brought up this whole Shedem Mask case and decided, okay, you know what? Yes, we found that Shedem Mask guilty. We are taking her passport. We are taking all her traveling documents. But she doesn't need it anymore because she's a full-blown Nigerian now, flying the flags of Nigeria. Hi! Let's continue, guys. The last uh, paragraph, as progressive force of South Africa, the unintelligent people of South Africa who are mentally unstable. We are writing this letter on behalf of everyone who stands for justice to plead with you, Miss Universe, as an organization to reconsider the contestant. Miss Universe, Ni Miss Nigerian Universe, yo, Miss Nigeria Universe, it's supposed to be Miss Universe Nigeria. And if possible, to cancel her entry. <laughs> okay, let us continue. Miss Universe is a known brand of class, integrity, and fair competition. Miss Universe is known for granting a good platform for women to women from all walks of life to make a positive contribution to society while being the golden key to unlocking endless possibilities. We would hate to see the pageant lose its good image due to a contestant whose mother has been found guilty of stealing the identity of an innocent citizen. Not only did the contestant bring her own country into disrepute, into disrepute but her but her but her participating in the iconic pageant will also bring africa <laughs> we also bring africa into disrepute throughout this throughout this the contestant her mother the embassy of nigeria and the nigerian government has been have been arrogant <laughs> and have shown no remorse thank you for reading our letter we hope that you act in the best interest of all contestants and for the sake of justice and fairness we look forward to hearing from you regards guys this is utter bullshit this is nonsense this is the worst case scenario of unintelligent like if like when even some monkeys when you get group of a uh, gang of monkeys and you put them together at least they have thinking faculty but these people that are talking now these people that came up with this letter the people that wrote this letter their their, their head has been opened up and their score taken away from them and a shaking score is now implanted in because tell me how somebody with a good IQ, somebody who thinks, somebody who had a breast milk for more than two months, three months, can come up with something like this and write something like this and think that the world is going to buy it. Like, it doesn't make sense. It does like there's no way you look at it and it makes sense. All I'm here to say is congratulations to Shidema on flying the Nigerian flag high. And if you are my fan or if you are a, an avid watcher of this channel and you're a Nigerian and you want to see someone dream come true just head on to the miss universe and vote for chedema just head on to miss universe and vote for chedema because you see that crown our girl is going to bring it home yes i want when they call miss universe and the name chedema adeshino will be called like it will give us nigerians the morale it will boost it, it, it won't uh, do anything good to our economy. Yeah, it won't boost our economy that much. But it will give us Nigerians a bragging right to say, yes, South Africans, in your face, in your face, the rejected stone is now the cornerstone. That is the kind of 
a story that I want Shedemuma to end with. Guys, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I drop another video. I know this video is long, guys. Sorry, I've been ranting. I've been bottling this for the past couple of months, but since it's trending again, I just said, let me just come here and end my mind. Guys, let me know what you think about this whole hula balloon in the comment section. I'll see you guys on another video. Have an amazing night. Bye-bye.